began as a, an exercise in just layering, and it became a kind of unmitigated mess. Um, I did what I think a lot of beginning um, painters do. I kind of added like every color and just like it became way too. So then I just washed the whole thing over with white. And um, and now I've, I've added this burlap. Um, this is some cheesecloth and this is some tulle and cardboard. And this is a, um, a pumice, it's a gel medium, coarse pumice gel which I mixed with okra and um, and then I just kind of dabbled on. It gives like a sandy grainy effect and I've sort of glumped on a, some here and over here. Um, this, I, I actually sanded and some of it came off and, and so now I'm back down to the original. This was some sheet music, which sadly, you can't even see what this stuff is. Um, this is like one of those Rolodex uh, cards, you know, from, from the old days. Um, so yeah, I kind of like what's going on here. I don't know whether I'm just going to trash this whole thing or if I'll just keep working on it. My idea is to keep it really simple with just black, white, okra, and one other color. And that's it. And yes, I, I'm kind of figuring that out. This is all, you know, I think rookie mistakes. Um, you know, but yeah. It's one of those things where you have to find, you have to learn about the material. You have to learn what it can do, what it can't do, how it responds. Um, you know, so there's a lot of collage going on in here, which is giving this kind of crinkled effect, which I actually kind of like. So, yeah, I, I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to sit with the ugly right now and um, and then see where I'm at in a, in a day or so. I'm going to let all this dry overnight. I'll start working on something else. And All right, so uh, this is still flat on a table and I'm going to um, actually take the tape off. I've got tape around the edge and I'm going to um, put it on the wall and, and take a step back and, and look at it um, and see if I want to add any kind of marking. Um, there's quite a bit going on, so I'm not sure that I do. This is actually showing up much darker than it is. You can see my little stitching there. Um, this is a burlap. This is a, a piece of muslin or cheesecloth. And this is a piece of um, like tulle. This is the stuff that I was playing with that um, the coarse pumice gel and these are some silk cocoons, cardboard, cardboard. And then there's just a lot of collage below, which is why you're getting this kind of effect, you know? So I'm going to go ahead and take the, uh, take the tape off. I need to do it with a blow dryer, I think, because I think this is going to pull the paper. So I'm going to go do that and, um, I'll see if I can film it. Okay, let's see if I can do this. I've got my little blow dryer here. And I'm just going to heat this up. I think I'm just going to heat the whole thing up. Let's see if I can pull this off without getting too much of the paper. You can kind of feel when it's not pulling, it just starts to slide.
And then sometimes, um, and this is something I learned from uh, from Louise Fletcher. She, um, when she has a tape, I think she's using a clear tape, but she'll save parts of it that she finds interesting and uses them. So there's some cool stuff here. Okay, so there it is on the wall. Um, I don't know if I need any mark making. There's an awful lot of marks in there because of the collage. So <clears throat> I did do some with uh, some charcoal in here, over here. Um, but yeah, I mean, if I add anything, it's gonna be pretty minor. So very topographical looking. Yeah, it's uh, not what I expected, <laughs> but I think it's I think it's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it. All right, so I added some newsprint actually here and here and here, and I really I think that is what was needed and um so that's that's it i'm gonna leave this alone now and um but but i'm i'm happy with this this was unexpected but a lot of fun thanks so much for watching and until next time let's keep creating together